Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Johnny Berber and I help men to get control of their anxiety so they can live the life that they want and build a lot of self-confidence. So in this video, I'm gonna go straight into it. I'm gonna give you my, my 10 very best steps uh, to building your self-confidence. And I did, a, I did a poll on my YouTube channel and most of my subscribers, more than 50%, asked me to make a video on confidence. So if you're new to my YouTube channel, I hope you enjoy this video. And remember, if you enjoy it, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get regular content and you're gonna keep improving on your confidence. Right, so the first step to building your self-confidence is actually being honest and admitting to your insecurities. It may sound simple, but it takes a lot of courage and it actually takes confidence to admit that you're not actually confident at something. So do that, that's really important. Step number two is an action plan. An action plan is get a pad of paper and get a pen and write down what your goals are. Usually what I've found over the years of coaching clients and improving a lot of people's confidence around the world and also my own confidence is, usually for men and for yourself, where your goals are will be your fears. So it's kind of the same things. You write your fears down and you write your goals down. Once you've got an action plan, you already feel a lot more confident about yourself and you feel better because you've had the courage to admit what you're scared of and you've actually been able to write it down on paper. So it's actually a really good therapy and it really does improve mental health and lower anxiety so you can live the life that you want. Step number three is become fearless. This is where you're actually gonna go and face your fears on a practical level in real life. Do this gradually, don't rush it because there's usually quite a lot of fears that you've got to face. Change your mindset and it's completely okay to fail. Failure is the only way um, that you become successful and you actually build confidence through your failures and Arnold Schwarzenegger said the same, he's a really accomplished person, someone that I look up to and probably you do as well, people like Bruce Lee Schwarzenegger, same for me and my journey of all this stuff as well. You will fail, but you'll learn and you'll get, you'll care less basically what people think about you and that will give you more confidence to try and put a bit more effort in the next time and that will actually, eventually you will get the success that you want. So you need a bit of failure and you need some uh, success because both of them will toughen you up mentally and emotionally. So it's really important that you face your fears gradually. Spend around six weeks on each fear. So for example, I don't know what your fears are. You can let me know in the box below. Could be social anxiety, a fear of talking to people. So practice for six weeks, going to social events, meeting out of people, meeting new people, and start developing your social confidence. And the more you do it, the easier it will get. Step number four, training, get fit, get strong. So join the gym. Train at least three times a week. Find a gym routine. If you can't find a gym routine and you're, you don't understand how to train, I've got lots of demonstration videos on my YouTube channel. I'll, I'll put some links below this video and I'll leave some on the end screen so you can check them out. You can learn the basics of how to train uh, in bodybuilding, which is squats, deadlifts, bench press, some bicep curls, some pull-ups. If you don't want to do bodybuilding, that's fine. You can do boxing training, mixed martial arts. You can do running. It's so important to do physical training because the physical training gives you confidence. It starts to make your body language improve. It helps you to express yourself socially in, in every area of your life. And it builds a strong mental health. And that's where all confidence originates from. You know, what they say is if you put your mind to something, you can do it. So you're training your mind and your body. So it's so crucial that you get a fitness routine ASAP and you'll enjoy it. All these things are enjoyable once you get into it. Step number five, help others. A lot of people don't think like that. A lot of people, maybe you think the same. They think, well, I'm not confident, so I'm not good enough, I can't help other people. That's not a good attitude, that's not true. There's many ways that you can help people. Even if you used to fix someone's laptop, that, they're gonna be so happy. Help someone to fix their problem, or help your community, or help someone in whatever way you choose to, financially, friendship, a conversation, or you've got a skill that someone else doesn't have that you can teach them. When you help another person, it always makes you feel good and it, and it builds long-lasting confidence. Not that fake stuff, not 
you fake it till you make it. I don't teach people that. I teach people you practice the real thing and then you make it, you become yourself. So helping people build confidence. Number six, improve your dress sense, your fashion. It's so important to wear clothes that you feel comfortable in and express your personality. The quickest way to do that, this is what I did, it's simple. Go to any high street, go in and ask the sales assistant, you know, I'm new to this, I don't know about fashion, can you help me? They'll style you up with something that, fit, that fits your complexion, your eye color, your body shape. Once you start getting the hang of the fundamentals of how to dress, how to be smart, it really does make a difference and people notice it. You know, if you want to be more attractive and confident with women or people in general in any aspect of life, how you dress does play a huge part. And it is true the saying, it's not the clothes that makes the man, it's the man that makes himself. But the clothes sure as damn help. You know, if you're not dressed right, people are going to judge you. I'm sorry, but they are. So it is important um, that you start dressing um, in a way that you know makes you stand out more and just find something that suits you. This is really simple advice, right? Number seven, get a mentor. Obviously you've done that today, you found a mentor in me. Mentors are so important. Mentors help you to build your confidence. Find a mentor and if you want to invest and go a bit further, this is something I've done, a lot of my clients done. Get a paid mentor, pay for your mentorship. You value things more when you pay for it. And find a mentor that you can trust, that help, that suits your personality and can help you achieve what you specifically want to achieve in your life. If you haven't got the, any income, that's fine. You can stick to free mentors. All my YouTube videos are free. So mentors play a crucial role in your personal development, your confidence. They give you that support. They give you that help. When things get difficult, they push you, they tell you the truth, they tell you where you're not doing what you should be doing, they show you your insecurities so you can make them your strengths. Mentors are, are, um, are key. Number eight, hold on a second, surround yourself with positive people. I've got someone I want to introduce you to. All right? Now, very important, if you're around negative people, they're gonna drag you down, they're gonna make you feel not confident. Get around people like this guy. Let me know in the box below if you know who this is. Obviously, I'm sure you know who this is. He's my favorite superhero growing up. I wanted to bring him into the video today. I've been making YouTube videos since 2012 up until 2028 years. During those years, my fans and followers have seen me go from having a full head of hair, hair's falling out, I'll be going gray soon. I love what I do, I love doing this. I'm really grateful. If you're enjoying this video so far, smash the like button. Comment in the box below, Batman, then I know I'm talking to the right people. He's my favorite superhero, by the way. If you like Superman, that's fine. Plus, I'm not taking myself so serious. A lot of guys, I've been guilty of it. I'm sure you have. We walk around with a serious face, our head down, miserable. That doesn't make you feel confident. Start practicing standing up more straight, speaking clearer, making eye contact, smiling. All these things add to your confidence and after a while, these behaviors will become natural. They'll become part of your personality. So get around positive people, um, because if you're around negative people, they drag you down, they don't make you feel good. The quickest way to get around positive people is find a community, a group of people that think like you, they've got the same passions, they've got the same values, and you've actually achieved that today. You found me, you found a community. But if you want to find other people, I'm not the only person that can help you, go online. You know, if you like fitness, you're gonna find people that love fitness. So keep things simple. Confidence is about keeping things simple, practical, and practicing. So get around positive people and they will improve your confidence and you'll help each other. Number nine is education. Education is actually really important. So when you're doing a lot of fear facing and building up your confidence, which is important, I do think you should dedicate probably about 20% to reading, educating yourself. You know, read books on how to improve your social relationships, read books on entrepreneurship, read books on successful people, it will inspire you. You'll get a great understanding of how they did it and you'll understand that they've been through challenges, they had, they had times in their life where they didn't feel confident. So read, I include education, not just reading, watch documentaries, go online, you know, really start to um, incorporate things into your, in your life 
uh, and your thinking and your habits that are positive. And one of my personal favorite online mentors um, is Les Brown. You can check Les Brown out, his talks are brilliant. So educate yourself because the more educated you are, the more you can connect with people. You can become more socially confident. I know all the guys who follow me on YouTube, they're really big on improving their social anxiety, becoming more confident with people. And at the end of the day, confidence really is about communicating with people. So if you've educated yourself and you, you know a lot about fitness, you know about sports, you know about history, you know about culture, you know about business, you know, you know about um, creative stuff, when you meet new people, you can connect with them. You're more flexible, you're not rigid. And you can keep improving and you can learn new skills. For example, learning how to um, film a YouTube video, learning how to set up a program on your computer. These are all ways of educating you and doing new things and growing as a person. So that's very, very important. The final um, tip is tip number 10, which is be creative. Every single person has got a skill, has got a talent, you definitely have. When you are creative and you actually create um, things that you enjoy and the help of other people, it gives you so much confidence. So let me give you an example, just in case some of you don't know what that is. Making a YouTube today, this is very creative. Well, not, me making these videos gives me a lot of self-confidence. Every video, video that I do, I notice I get a little bit more confident. And I've noticed through teaching people over the years, when guys have got goals and they follow their dreams and they do creative things, it actually it affects them in such a positive way and it benefits other people. All of the steps I've given you, not only are they going to give you more confidence in your life, they're actually going to make you a better human being. They're going to make you better with other people because if you feel good about yourself, people feel that, they sense that. And what I like about today is it's really simple, very honest, very practical. One thing I'm going to say, I'm going to give you two bonus steps. I always give more because I get such a great support and I like giving value. Don't rush this. That's one of the biggest mistakes men make. If you rush trying to build your confidence, you're actually going to lose confidence. You're going to get tired. You're going to get burnt out. You're not going to concentrate. So take your time. Play the video back. Write the steps down. Practice each step for several weeks until you gain more confidence and there'll be no stopping and the great thing about confidence I'm very excited for you guys about your personal development your confidence building and you lowering your social anxiety so you can live the life that you want you can just keep improving at this so the key to building confidence and all the steps I've given you is you've got to practice them and people like Bruce Lee inspired me growing up to do that Arnold Schwarzenegger Sylvester Stallone Van Damme all the 80s 90s heroes Batman, many other people as well. Uh, my dad as well actually inspired me a lot. So find your courage, be honest, treat people how you wanna be treated, and go out there, educate yourself, put all these things into practice. You're not gonna recognize yourself. If you practice this for at least, at least six weeks, you're gonna, your family, friends are not gonna recognize the positive change, you're gonna make a transformation. Listen, I love making the video. I could talk all day to you about confidence, but I want to keep these videos obviously not too long. If you enjoyed this video and you got loads of value and it's already gave you confidence, comment confidence in the box below or comment Batman. Whatever suits you best. Remember, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the bell so you get notified when I put more videos up. I'm going to make a lot more videos on confidence. And I love doing these videos anyway. And you guys give me so much confidence with the support, the love, and even some of the criticism. So don't quit up. Failure equals success. As my mentor Les Brown said in another quote he said that I love, you don't have to be great to get started, but you've got to get started to become great. So what it means by it is you don't need to be perfect. None of us are perfect. But that's not like an excuse not to be great in your life, all right? So enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hit the like button, comment. Really appreciate it if you share this video. I don't mind if you go on the on. No, actually, that's not a good idea. Anyway, forget I said that. I was going to say a joke. It wasn't funny. So I'll see you next video. Remember, become fearless. And uh, thank you, all of you, for the support. And I'll see you soon, all right? Bye. Oh, guys, by the way, before you leave, I really appreciate the support. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel. Because if you don't subscribe, I'll come for you and I will find you, and when I find you, I'll make you subscribe. Come on, you know it makes sense. Become fearless, see you next video, thank you.